hey y'all welcome back to the channel and i got another recap for you guys this one is love island season three episode 27 and we are winding down to the end it's been six weeks and we got somebody going home tonight so before we jump into this if you're new here hit that subscribe button turn on your notifications if you like the video smash that like button and also feel free to drop a comment down in the comment section below so we got a couple of challenges this episode we got a a reoccurring situation with one couple that um it's been pretty interesting but we'll see what happened with them and then of course we have one couple eliminations. So without further ado, let's jump into this video. All right, so it left over from yesterday where the families pretty much had a digital or virtual visit with the Islanders. And of course they got a chance to speak to parents and friends and you know other family members. And, of course, that had the Islanders pretty darn happy, which should be expected. However, tonight, what we see is kind of like a rollover of what happened when Kira heard her dad saying that he feels 50-50 when it comes to Will. So, Will wanted to check up on her and see, hey, what's going on? How are you feeling? And what kind of tears you got going on? Is that happy tears? Is that sad tears? And, you know, Kira pretty much came out and told him, you know, listen, my, my, you know, my family seems like they got some issues with you in so many words. She didn't say it exactly like that. And, of course, it's irritating him because he's like, when are we going to get past Casa Moore? We've gotten past Casa Moore. How come everybody else can't get past it? But it's really important for Kira to know that she has a family support. And that's to be that's extremely understandable. The thing is, is that when you do something negative, it's hard. It's hard for people to see you in a different light. And you're going to have to put in some work. That's just the, the bottom, you know, the bottom truth. So she's in the beauty room with the rest of the girls. And she, again, She's telling the girls about what her family thinks about Will and how she had a conversation with him. And then they go back up to talk a little bit later um, because at this point, they're trying to get some clarity. And I mean, they this couple right here really got a lot of airtime over the past couple episodes. And I can understand why because of everything that's extending over from Casa or more which now has been probably two or three weeks ago I'm, I'm assuming but he's he's pretty much tired of it he's like I, I we need to move on at what point do we need to move on I mean I've told you everything and she was she's very softened hearted toward him the issue that I have when it comes to Kira is that and it happens I've seen it You'll have someone go and tell their friends, oh my God, I can't stand to get on my nerves, blah, 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 blah. And then they'll get with that guy and be like, oh yeah, I'm all in. We're a team. It's like playing two sides of, of the field. And she's telling pretty much, well, no, it's about us. We're good. I'm good. I'm happy. But then she has all these reservations that she, of course, speaks about with the other ladies so of course those women are only going to go by what you tell them because they weren't in casa more so where do they get that feeling from and speaking of that will has a conversation with trina and will is asking trina you know i don't understand why if we've gotten past this why you guys continue to talk about it and she's like, well, you're going to have to pretty much make amends and redeem yourself. And he's like, I've already done that with her. The thing about opinions, redemption and things like that, it doesn't matter how hard you work for him. A redemption is given from outside. So he could be an angel and put in all the work. If that person or persons don't want to redeem you, it'll never happen. So redemption usually comes from the onlookers. It doesn't, I mean, you can redeem yourself and forgive yourself, of course. 
which you should always do and try to, you know, progress in your life. But if they, if someone or some people see you in a particular light and they are stuck at that, you'll never get redemption from them. So the best bet is to pretty much, you got to continue to live your life. So while these two are finally getting some, some kissy kissy time, which I'm thinking that's cool. There's a sidebar conversation going on in the other bed where we have Will come back and tell Kira the conversation that he had with Trina. And he was like, oh, you know, because one thing he called Trina was manipulative. And she's like, I'm not being manipulative. And he told her what the conversation was and everything. But she said, I don't give a what they feel. Like I told you guys a couple episodes ago, The Messenger, go back and check out that episode that I talked about. But you guys, I'm telling you, when a person is going to stick with what they want to stick with, you have to let them be and let them figure it out. It's on her at this point. So we'll see how that all pans out outside the villa. So the next morning, Charlie gets a text message waking everybody up saying that they have to go through couples therapy to see if their relationship can go to the distance. So this is where they first had to get sweated all up to see if they can actually smell and be attracted to either their fragrances or pheromones of each person. And then they will reveal it much later. So, I mean, I'm going to leave this little montage coming up next with all of these crazy faces. So the Islanders had to reveal which pheromones attracted them. And Trina was attracted by Andre's. Andre was attracted by Trina's pheromones, which they were really shocked by that. But I'm wondering if production had something to do with this. Jeremy attracted um, Bailey. Bailey attracted, of course, Jeremy. And they didn't look too surprised. They were pretty enthusiastic about the fact that they attracted to each other's pheromones. Of course, both Will and Kira were attracted to each other's pheromones and sweat. I, I, at first, when I saw this challenge, I was like, this is the craziest thing ever. Obviously, you guys need to find something to do. But, okay, whatever. And then, of course, when it came to Charlie and Alana... Um, Atlanta picked Corey, and I was like, okay, and then Charlie picked Olivia pheromones that he was attracted to, and then Corey had Atlanta, and I'm like, uh, what's going on, and I think Olivia was like, uh, excuse me, Corey, what is really going on, and he was trying to blame it on his, his nostril being clogged. So then they had to actually ask questions, tough questions with each other. And the first question that Alana asked is, what do you think I offer in a couple that Cash didn't? And I'm like, really, producers? Did you really want him to answer that question? For those who know what I'm talking about, enough said. But, you know, the thing is, he said Alana puts him in his place, which is sexy to him. And... I thought that was interesting because like some of the girls said who called it lies, they said Cash also did the exact same thing. Let me know what you guys think about that. And then there was the question put on the table about what are the things that uh, main things that are lacking. He asked her and she said, we need more laughter. And everybody agreed to that. 
So then it was Andre and Trina's turn. And uh, Trina asked about what he felt about Olivia. And, you know, since they've been in a couple, he said once he gets a no, he moves on. And then, you know, of course, there was the question about something being pursued beyond friendship. He said he would be open to it, but it would have to be longer than the time that they have here. Bailey called him out and said that these were lies because why couldn't he start pursuing something here in the villa? She said it sounded like a cop out. I agree with that to a certain extent. We, uh, But I also got to say that he just came in in the past week. Now... He could work on something with Trina, but it hasn't been moving. So, you know, I also understand where Bailey is coming from because he hasn't really put put in any effort because she definitely has have an interest in him and seeing where it could go. But he's like, "Eh, you know, we'll see. You know, I like to start off as a good friendship. So he's putting his answer out there so if it ain't happening here it probably ain't gonna happen out there so next up is will and kira um this is where we see will kind of spills the beans on her sexual appetite and that she has a really has sex drive and she admits to the fact that she likes to have sex at least once a day And I know um, we hear Trina say, oh, she's nasty. I was like, that is too funny. And then the question came up um, about her still having reservations about his commitment to him. She said not reservations, but the thought of a commitment. Now, the thing is, she's been telling the girl many times, the girls in the villa many times that she wants a commitment. She has reservations about that. And that's why I'm, it's like, like I said at the beginning of this video, it seems like double talk because you're saying one thing to one group of folks and then you're saying something different when you in his presence. So it look like you're playing both sides of the field. So what do you want to do? And of course, they was like lies. So, you know, it's, that's what I said. They need to take a step back on that. And then um, Will's biggest fear outside the villa is that Kira's parents um, and whether they're going to have a negative opinion of him. And he wants the opportunity to explain Casa Amor to her family. And Corey agreed. You know, he would have been just as fearful if what happened at Casa Amor was seen by, you know, Olivia's parents, you know. So, you know, it's going to be tough. Because the only persons that can change an opinion are those people. You could jump through hoops. You could jump through fire. You could change your entire life. If those people are stuck in that mindset, you're not going to go anywhere. So your best bet is to do what you need to do. Put in the work yourself. And take it day by day and move on with your life. People are going to choose to think and feel how they want to. All right, so they have passed all of the tests. They completed the whole couples therapy challenge. And so they are awarded an actual party where they get to dance and celebrate and have a good time with each other since everything is done. However, Ariel shows up. And you know what that means when Ariel walks in the villa. Either she has some good news, which is either bringing a new Islander or somebody's about to get eliminated. And I, as much as they were happy to see her, because I think some of them invited her to party with them, Ariel is like, nope, we got some unfinished business to take care of. So she instructed all of the islanders to take a seat over by the bonfire, where she um, informed them that one couple is going to have to be eliminated. And the couple that had to be eliminated had to be someone that has the least compatibility right now. And they are the ones who have to make that decision, not America this time. So, yeah, it it was sad for them for one thing because they know they're losing two people off the island. But they actually had to pretty much 
pick one of those friends to get kicked out. So that had to be tough. I couldn't imagine being put in that situation where you didn't build up a friendship, but you also now have to make a determination to eliminate one of those folks who is your friend. So in order to come up with a decision, Ariel had them to separately as a couple deliberate. And we got to hear some of the conversations, but overall, most of the conversations was about uh, Trina and um, Andre. Because of the fact that, you know, they've been in a friendship type couple, they really don't have a connection. So that's pretty much where that ended up. So now it's time to reveal who each couple want to eliminate. First up was Will and Kira. And who they chose that had the least compatibility was Trina and Andre. And then it was Trina and Andre's turn. And their vote for um, least compatibility in a couple was Alana and Charlie. And then, of course, it was Alana and Charlie's time. And I don't know, they like they was feeling some kind of way about that. But it was their turn. And then who they chose um, as least uh, compatible was, of course, Trina and Andre. And then it was Olivia and Corey's turn. And Olivia was extremely emotional because obviously her choice included someone that she had really become very, very close to. And I knew in that moment exactly who that was. And of course, that was Trina and Andre. And the interesting thing, I remember Trina saying several episodes back is that this is not Friendship Island. This is Love Island. And in the case when it comes to Jeremy and Bailey, they also voted for Trina and Andre as the least compatible couple. And the thing is, it's no surprise. Andre has been slow moving with whatever he was trying to do. Trina definitely was trying to uh, pursue you know, a connection with him, but it just didn't click. And so even though she had a lot of friends in the, um, in the villa, because of the fact that they had to make a choice of the least compatibility or lack of connection, it was hands down Trina and Andre. There was really no connection made. And, you know, Kira was talking about how she's really helped her in the house and blah, blah, blah. But this is the same Young lady who said after, of course, Charlie, I mean, Will talked to Trina, you know, saying F them. I know what we got. So, I mean, I don't know what Kira is doing, but it's an interesting situation. So we lose in this particular episode, uh, Trina and Andre. And, you know, it's, it's so unfortunate that Trina did not find, but I don't think she had a lot of options to choose from, you know, I mean, it's unfortunate. I, you know, I'm going to look out for her because I know that she probably is going to go live and you guys know what I do when it comes to making sure I keep you guys updated, especially with these folks now outside of the villa. So um, best wishes to both Andre and Trina as they move on from the villa. So we have the final four. We have Charlie and Alana. We have Olivia and Corey. We have Will and Kira. And we have Jeremy and Bailey. And really, Jeremy has skated his way all the way through this entire ex social experiment for the past six weeks. And I'm like, I, I, I don't get it. So... Let me know down in the comment section, who did you choose as your favorite couple to win Love Island Season 3? I want to know what your projections are, all right? Uh, I got a couple toss-ups. I have a feeling it's going to be between Will and Kira and Olivia and Corey. So that's my thoughts. We'll definitely find that out on Sunday. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you soon.